do. wild that we haven't had any rain really you Kelly. know i've been loving it it's been great you know we do have some state drought that now is increasing but it is the rainy season so i'm hoping you know that is alleviated a bit as we actually start the rainy season maybe later this month or uh next month but it's been pretty dry for us and we'll take it just some fantastic weekends we've had to get back outside here is your look out to can be still dark in the dahlia fields there but the swan island dahlia's camera always a nice start we'll likely get a gorgeous sunrise view of Mount Hood out there as we hit our six o'clock hour. Uh, right now, 47 degrees out of Canby. As we look towards the coastline, there's your peak at Seaside. Quiet, no rain out there. Uh, possibly some patchy fog that might set up with these cooler temperatures, but we again uh, are seeing a chilly start around the area here. Now getting some fog out to McMinnville and then out to Tillamook. Where we're in the upper 30s, so it is a chilly start. Temperatures running about 15 degrees colder this morning than we were yesterday morning. So you'll notice that change here as we hit the uh, mid to upper 40s here in terms of temperatures this morning. But clear skies out, no rain to track, just a quiet Thursday, and we'll keep it fairly sunny heading into today. The coastline back under mostly sunny skies. We'll see the low to upper 60s spanning up and down the coastline with light winds. Uh, so just a beautiful day out at the coast today. Go enjoy that. Now that chilly morning uh, in place again, and it's likely tomorrow morning we'll be back in the 40s, maybe low 50s again. So this is now that time of the year to grab that coat as you're heading out the door and starting your day. Again, we'll see the low 70s by the afternoon, partly sunny skies, just a beautiful day to get back outside under these drier conditions. So here's our future cast. Uh, notice some patchy clouds rolling in, but lots of sun breaks and blue skies expected heading into today. No rain out there. Uh, here's the future cast at 9 p.m. showing uh, some clear windows, and I have it paused at this hour because we have that chance to see the northern lights tonight. Again, a geomagnetic storm might bring those lights all the way down through even portions of southern Oregon. So uh, again, a good shot to see that tonight. Uh, after sunset, look towards the north. Your phone's camera might help you see those lights, but uh, again, if it's dark out there in Portland, we have a clear window in the clouds. Give it a shot. Take a photo and go outside and maybe you'll see those northern lights tonight. Again, heading into Friday, those clouds increase, but we still keep it dry tomorrow. Uh, looking at mostly cloudy skies for Friday, then a beautiful weekend. So here's your farm forecast. If you're heading out to Bauman's or another local farm, some great picking, whether it's apples, pears, or pumpkins, we will see some nice weather Friday in the low to mid 70s, mostly cloudy, but a very sunny weekend. Saturday and Sunday, both gorgeous as we hit the mid upper 70s, maybe even a little warm uh, by the afternoon hours if you're out there in that direct sunlight. So enjoy it. Just another dry weekend for us. Come Monday, we start to increase those clouds with a slight chance for evening rain, but we'll see some rain showers finally back in Portland by the middle of next week. Uh, enjoy the weekend out there and all that sunshine. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.